Welcome to Axiom Portal Software. In this video, we're going to show you how to add IR codes either to a KPC keypad or directly to your software. Uh, the Axiom Portal Software does allow you to add um, IR, IP, and RS-232 codes. For this video, we will be adding IR codes uh, to a keypad and to the system. First thing we're going to do is actually the keypad, which is probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, there are times where you have a device in your system and you don't particularly have IR codes for them. You don't need it in your system. You're just doing one keypad. So for this case right here, what I did, I set up a keypad with four buttons on it. I have a cable button, a DVD, a Blu-ray, and a CD. In this case, what I want to happen is my receiver to actually change uh, to these sources when I hit these buttons. So what I'm going to do is learn it right into the keypad because in this case, like I said, I have one keypad on my system and I don't particularly need it to operate throughout my entire system just from this keypad. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and push the learn button right here. This is a little IR learn button uh, that's on the keypad itself. Once I push that button, it tells me to actually push the button that I want to learn. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit the cable button here. Once I hit the cable button, I'm going to pick up the remote that I want to learn from and go ahead and hit that button and point it towards that keypad. As you can see, what I have is a learn and OK. That will flash once and then it will ask me if I want to continue from here. I will go ahead and I'll select any other button that we want. And now I want to do the DVD button. I'll go ahead and hit that button and I'll go ahead and hit the DVD. So now I've learned that button. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Uh, with the last two buttons I have on here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Blu-ray button. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Blu-ray on my remote. It says, OK, I've learned that button then. And my last one is going to be my CD button. I'm going to hit my CD button. And from my remote, I'll go ahead and I hit CD. And now I've successfully learned these four commands, cable, DVD, Blu-ray, and CD onto this keypad. To, to go ahead and save those, I'll just go ahead and hit this Learn button here and deactivate it. Now at this point, uh, when I hit these buttons, they will actually change uh, on the receiver um, that I learned the remote from. And you can do that for, of course, any other device that you have in your system. Another way to learn codes, if I say I want to learn this entire remote, and I want to not just learn it there, but learn it into my software. The way you do that would be this. In your commands, you have two libraries. You have a public library. Public library are the codes that are already built into the system. However, the Axiom Portal software does allow you to add your own codes to the system. That's called your user's library. Here you can see I've already added several devices to my user's library, and I'm about to add another receiver uh, from the remote that I just uh, learned the other codes from. But I want to learn more than just those four codes. Matter of fact, this receiver I don't have in my library. So it's a receiver that I want to add. And I don't want to go shop for the code. So I'm just going to learn it from the remote while I'm at this person's house. So who knows? Next time I may need to use these codes. So the way you add new codes to your system from existing remote control, go ahead right up to user, right click, and you go down to add. Here it's going to ask you what you want to add. I can add IR, RS-232, or IP codes at this point. I'm going to learn IR codes, so I'm going to go ahead and click on IR. What that will give me is a new device right here. You see it says Make New. And what it will do, I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, and I'm going to rename that. I'm going to name that Receiver. Okay, so now this is my new receiver that I'm going to learn codes from, from this remote control here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right click on that again, go down to add. Now I can add some IR commands. I'm going to learn commands from this remote here, so I'm going to learn system commands. Now you do have choices here. You can learn cursor commands, which is up, down, left, right, um, enter, blue, red, green, if you have a, something like a Blu-ray or a DVD player. Numbers, of course, uh, 0 through 10. And system commands and transport commands. Transport commands usually take you to stop, play, for fast forward, things of that sort. But we're going to choose system commands because we're going to learn multiple commands from this remote. So I'm going to go ahead and hit system commands here. 
Okay, and what it does, it puts in all of the possible system commands that I could possibly need from this remote. So if I want to learn all of the buttons from this remote, I could I could actually do that. Um, as you see, there's a volume up, a volume down, and things like that. So what we're going to learn first, we're going to go ahead and start from the bottom here, uh, simply because volume is the most practical thing that you're going to learn on the remote. The way you do that, to go ahead and start to learn it, you right-click on the one that you want, and you just simply click learn. What that would give you right here, you see volume up is what we're going to do. So back to the keypad, what I'll do at this point, you see it's telling me to go ahead and press the learn button. I'm going to go ahead and press the learn button here. From the remote, I'm going to go ahead and push that volume up. And you can see right here, it said OK meaning that it, it learned that fine. Now since I learned this from the bottom, it closed that learn window. Now, I'll show you what happens if I learn from the top here. From, there from the top, I'm going to go ahead up to audio. Now I don't particularly have an audio button, but I can name it something some uh, after I'm done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on that audio button. I'm going to click learn here. And I'm going to go ahead and use auxiliary one. And we're going to say auxiliary one. Um, for the sake of his exercise, is our audio button. So I'm going to go ahead to our keypad again, press the learn button. I'm going to go ahead and you click on auxiliary one. As you see, it says OK. Now, once it says OK, it automatically goes to the next device here. In this case, it's going to auxiliary. So we're going to go ahead and drop auxiliary two on there. Of course, you have to learn the push the learn button again on the keypad. It's an inconvenient part. It would be having to push that, that learn button after every command. It just does that so you don't run on and learn the same commands over. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Our next button is going to be our CD. I'm going to hit this one more time. Go ahead to my CD player. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead to my remote. And I'm going to hit CD. As you can see, it put an OK there. And we're going to do a couple of more. Okay, now we're going to stop there from now. Of course, if I wanted to learn every command on here, I would simply go through this remote and go ahead and hit the corresponding button there. If I have inputs that aren't named at this point, I could go ahead and use input here and then go ahead and rename those later. And that's one thing I'm going to have to do over the first button that I learned uh, right here, which is my audio button. I'm going to hit stop here. Go ahead up to this audio button. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename that because that's actually my cable. So once again, if I wanted to learn all of the buttons, I would just simply continue down the line here until I learned all of the commands uh, that I wanted to learn. Okay, now let's go back for a second because there are other ways to actually learn commands in. So say right here, um, I already have these and I know what these buttons are. So I have an OK next to them. That OK means that these buttons already are learned, they're functional, and they have what's called a class. Uh, what I mean by that, I'm going to go ahead and open one of these real quick. If I right click on that, and we're going to go ahead and go down to class. And right here, it's telling me that I have a class. It's a system class right there. It means it's been added to the system class. Classes are important to the system, particularly when you're adding pages from a template. Here's a for instance, I'm going to go up here to a cursor group. Uh, this cursor group was uh, simply selected from our gallery here. What we did went to a gallery, and we went ahead and we chose a, a, a cursor group right here. Okay, so when you choose something like that, it's very important that you have classes. Reason being, any time you see a screw terminal on any of these buttons right here, that means there's no programming on that button. Take this enter button. If I push the enter button. It says that it's a cursor button. It knows that it's a cursor button. Why? Because this has already been classified. The template has been classified. Now what it does, what makes that important is when you go to drag code to that, it automatically knows where to place the code. I'm going to show you. This is a transport for a DVD player. So we're going to grab the Samsung DVD player, drop it right on the template, and notice how it automatically not only know what the cursor was but it added the command from the blu-ray because the blu-ray enter that's also going to be a cursor command uh, the same with the 
uh, red, blue, yellow, green menu button. These are all cursor commands. If we were to de uh, transport, what this is looking for is transport commands because this is a transport. If I grab the same Blu-ray player, take it, drop it on here, it's going to go ahead and populate buttons that are available. It'll go ahead and populate. I'll go ahead and hit the, in hit the enter button. We have a transport play. That play is a transport command. So that's why it's important to have classes in there. So when you go to drag code and drop it, it automatically knows how to populate that button and what to populate that button with. Another way to add IR codes to your system is through the hex. You can actually go ahead. Okay, what I have here is a spreadsheet. A little spreadsheet for bows right here. Uh, you can get these off of uh, you know Remote Central, wherever you can actually grab commands from. One way, to, another way to actually populate. Uh, these commands with hex code is this or IR code. Here I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and open up one of these IR commands. I'm going to do what's called a hex code and edit that hex code. Now that I have that open, I'm going to go ahead and open my spreadsheet here. This is my bold spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do, I'm just go ahead and copy this hex code here and I'm simply going to paste it right in. So now I actually put that stereo code from Bose right into my system. I'm going to apply that, close that, and then from there, you see it says OK now. All I need to do is go ahead and just rename that to what that button actually is. And I'll do a couple of more for you. What I'm going to do, this time I'm going to go to Spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to copy this page right here. Just go ahead and copy this command. Uh, some ways are copying easier than others. I'm sure there's a shortcut that I'm missing here. I'm going to right click and go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go ahead to the stereo button here, this input button right here. Okay. Right click on it. Go to edit. Go to hex. And go ahead and paste that code in. So when you have a spreadsheet, you can just simply copy and paste codes right into the Axiom system. And this could be any device that you want. You go ahead and you name that input to whatever that input is going to be. That's how you can go ahead and copy and paste from a spreadsheet right into our hex codes. That's how you learn IR codes into the Axiom portal software.